Hello and welcome to this daily hypnosis session to stop being self-conscious. Self-consciousness can often be a hindrance in our daily lives, a little voice that makes us second-guess ourselves or worry excessively about how we appear to others. While a healthy level of self-awareness is a good thing, becoming overly self-conscious can prevent us from living life to the fullest. It can inhibit our actions, speech, and personal growth. It's crucial to understand that everyone has felt self-conscious at times, but when these feelings start to take control, it may be time to seek help and learn how to conquer it. Please ensure that you're in a safe and comfortable environment before starting this hypnosis session. Please avoid listening to this while driving or operating heavy machinery. Now you might imagine for a moment how a leaf carried by a soft, gentle breeze dances and twirls in the air, not a care in the world. Doesn't it seem so free, so liberated? Maybe you've felt that way before, completely at ease, like that time you were so engrossed in a book that the world just melted away. The peace you felt, can you remember it? Maybe as we sit here, you could allow yourself to connect with that peace again. And as you sit there comfortably listening to my words, there's no need to make any effort at all. Just listen. You can let your mind wander where it wishes. Perhaps you notice your breath, the rise and fall of your chest, so regular like waves lapping on a shore. Just notice how soothing this sound is. And maybe as your attention drifts to the rhythm of your own breathing, you will find your eyelids getting heavier, your body becoming more relaxed. And it's okay to let go, to let yourself drift like the leaf carried by the breeze. There's no right or wrong way to feel, just feel what comes naturally. It's okay to give yourself this time, this space. And now that you're beginning to relax, letting go, isn't it wonderful how you can let your mind wander even further? You might begin to think about places, places where you felt safe and comfortable. It might be a room in your home, a favorite park, or maybe a beach with its soft sand and the rhythm of the waves, wherever you feel at peace. And just imagine being there right now. Look around and notice the details, and let your senses immerse you in this peaceful place. And as you breathe in, you might find that your body sinks deeper into relaxation. As if with every breath, you're sinking into the softness of a cloud. How comforting, how safe it is. Can you feel the cloud supporting you, allowing you to let go even further? You can just drift in this space, where time doesn't matter, where there's only you, the cloud and the comfort. 
And isn't it pleasant to know you have this space to simply be? Now take a moment to appreciate this tranquility, this depth of relaxation. It's a state of simply being, of being one with your mind, your body, your breath. This place is always there for you, within you, ready to welcome you back whenever you need. And in this state of deep relaxation, imagine you're standing at the entrance of a beautiful garden, full of colourful flowers, each one more vibrant than the last. Just beyond the entrance is a path, meandering and inviting. Can you see it? As you begin to walk down this path, you might notice that with each step you take, you feel lighter, freer. You might not notice it at first, but the shadows of self-consciousness are starting to lift. It's as if the garden is inviting you to explore, and as you do, the shackles of self-doubt are melting away. Now imagine coming across a mirror in the middle of the garden. You may hesitate at first, but you decide to look into it, and as you look at your reflection, consider this. What if you could see yourself the way your closest friends, those who love and care for you, see you? Think about the compliments they've given you, the times they've appreciated you. Remember the times when they stood by you, believing in your abilities even when you didn't. Can you see that person reflected in the mirror? The person full of courage, kindness and talent. Remember the times when you've been completely engaged in an activity, forgetting about everything else. The times when self-consciousness was absent, because you were just being you, enjoying the moment. Imagine bringing that version of you into the mirror. See the joy, the confidence reflected back at you. And as you walk away from the mirror, leaving behind any remnants of self-doubt, you might find that you're beginning to accept this new reflection as the truth. You're not just seeing it, you're beginning to believe it, because it is the truth. And isn't it interesting how the garden seems even more beautiful now, as if it's reflecting your inner transformation. And as you walk further, you might come across a stream, its water clear and calm, and you might find yourself drawn towards it. Now imagine writing the word self-consciousness on a leaf, and gently setting it on the water's surface. Watch as it's carried away by the stream, further and further, until it's out of sight. It's not a part of you anymore, is it? You've just let it go. You have the ability to nurture your mind, to choose what stays and what flows away, just like the leaf. 
Notice how empowering this feels. You are not the same person who entered this garden. You've grown, transformed. And as you reach the end of this path, you might realize that you're ready to step out into the world, armed with a newfound confidence, free from the weight of self-consciousness. You know you have the strength to face whatever comes your way. You know you can be your true self without fear of judgment. And before you leave the garden, take a moment to reflect on this journey. Embed this feeling of freedom, of confidence deep within you. And whenever you start feeling self-conscious, remember this garden, the mirror and the stream. Remember your transformation. You have the power within you to overcome self-consciousness, to silence the inner critic. You can be yourself freely and unapologetically, and it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be imperfect, because that's what makes you human. It's what makes you, you. And now that you've journeyed through this beautiful garden, shedding your self-consciousness along the way, you might find that you're beginning to return, gently, easily, like a leaf that has reached the end of its journey, settling softly onto the ground. And as I count from one to five, you will gradually awaken, carrying with you the lessons and experiences from your journey. One, take a deep breath, feeling your body become aware of the space around you. Two, your body is beginning to move, Stretch as you emerge from this deep state of relaxation. Three, your consciousness is returning to the here and now, your mind filled with a renewed sense of confidence. Four, open your eyes, taking in the world around you with a fresh perspective. And five, you're now fully awake, alert, and ready to embrace the world, free from self-consciousness. And you'll find in the days to come, every time you see your reflection, it will remind you of the journey through the garden, of the new you. Your reflection will be a gentle reminder of your strength, your ability to overcome self-consciousness, and your freedom to be your true self. You have the power to be yourself, freely and unapologetically. Congratulations on your transformative journey. Always remember self-consciousness doesn't define you. You are strong, capable, and free to be your true self. Until next time, goodbye and good mental health.